So this is our first year doing school in Pennsylvania and we are doing CCA, which is Commonwealth Charter Academy. And I just wanted to show you everything that they send you in the welcome box for second grade school. So they gave us all of these papers of the list of everything they sent. But right here on top, I'm not gonna read that to you just because that would be a boring video. But on top they sent this tag board which is literally just giant, really thick cardstock paper for like painting or whatever. Um, I just left that on top. Now I organized them all in here just because we have a ton of stuff. Now you guys, I'm really excited for this and I'm quite overwhelmed by the amount of stuff that they sent. I was expecting one small box with a few things, you know, but this is everything you need for school and the parents don't have to supply any of it. And this was all free to us, nothing we had to return. Um, and I'm so grateful and so overwhelmed and I need help organizing this, but here's how I have it so far. We got this thing at Walmart, which was just under $30 um, for the two small ones, one large one and two medium ones, uh, uh, drawer, plastic. So here's how we are organizing it. If you have a better idea on how to organize it, let me know. But anyways, what they sent, you are gonna be shocked. So first we've got this music activity book uh, for two because he's in grade two. This is Glockenspiel. Um, learning how to read notes with the letters which i can also teach him because i know music and rhythms and references sheet appendixes and references sheet and then he also has a grade level two glockenspiel melody book um learning how to play songs like mary had a little lamb and etc and because he has a glockenspiel book they had to send him a glockenspiel if you guys are wondering, that is basically just a xylophone. Then they also sent a six inch hand drum and these two sticks that you bang together to make um, rhythms. And then they sent a dry erase marker and a spiral bound notebook because I'm assuming he's going to have to write down music notes. And then this is just a put in your binder plastic sheet to keep your papers nice. So I'll have to get him a binder to put that stuff in. And then um, it looks like there's um something else in here oh these are erasers for the whiteboards okay so then in the second one they sent number two pencils um we have uh number two pencils a bunch of them in here and a pencil sharpener of course and then we have which they don't do i don't think anymore in california is a kickstart to cursive which i'm super excited about since he needs to work on his writing legibility and i wanted to teach him cursive anyways and then in here this is a grade two readers and writers journal so it's just a workbook and then another workbook down here is foundational skills workbook which is a uh, decodable stories phonics and high frequency words another workbook um, with some games in there and then in the next drawer this is science so he's got this sodium chloride which is basically rock salt coarse rock salt and then he's got a mask uh, some rubber bands baking soda these uh, long q-tips with a wooden stick um, this is white vinegar, and then he's got some paper cups uh, here, um, and then, yes, yeah, see, white vinegar. And then, on the bottom of this, there is a workbook pack. There's a three-pack workbook for, um, trying to show you, this is a three-pack workbook here of second grade science. There's a thick one and two thin ones um, that are there. And then also he gets this, which I'm not going to pull out, but it is like a roll of tin foil paper, something like that. Um, trying to figure out how to organize all this, which I guess I'll learn over time. Anyways, then this is a bunch of books. We are learning about authors. So this is the author Cindy Rylant, or Cynthia Rylant, excuse me. And then this is um, second grade ready gen library and it's all the different books that we got um and then this is sleuth which i had to ask john what sleuth is and apparently it's another word for um detective 
which on the east coast compared to where we came from in california the west coast they use um, a lot more in old english words so this is second grade sleuth um, and then this also comes second grade uh, English language art supplies, which is all these things come in here. Sticky notes, spiral notebook, word, building tiles, dry erase pocket, magnetic. And it all comes in this package. And two more of the plastic keep your papers nice and new thing, which goes in a binder. So I'll need to give him a binder, which doesn't come with this but that's okay because there's a ton of other stuff look how many books come in here you guys this is amazing so let's put that away and that is that drawer and then it's hard to close with just one hand but something is stuck in there there we go then in the next drawer this is math so he gets these blocks, which he's used in preschool. Um, you put them together and you can make patterns, or I think they're gonna use them for learning their times tables. Um, they're just little building blocks. And then um, he's got these, which I thought were wood, but now that I'm touching them, they're actually foam numbers. Um, and then more of those, keep your papers nice in a binder, um, plastic covers. And then he's also got the sticky notes, which I wasn't sure where to put them. I'm not sure what they're going to use them for, but I guess we'll find out because tomorrow starts school on September 6th. Um, so the, he got money, two of these paper monies and um, one of the coins, which are actually mag fridge magnet, magnetic bills. So he's got the coins one as well. And then I'm really excited about these. They've got these dry erase index cards and all colors of dry erase markers. And then he's got a clock. Excuse me, that was upside down. But then he's also got addition 0 to 12 and subtraction 0 to 12, which he already knows all those because he's a super math whiz. So next year he'll probably be in honors. Um, and then, but it's still good practice. Then he's got these two uh, color counters, which are foam. But then he's also got the two color counters, which are magnetic. And we have this board right here, this blue board, which is a dry erase board, but it's also magnetic. So you can put those on there. And then he also has got the, they're really into magnets apparently because we have these magnetic tiles in all colors. Um, sorry, that didn't focus. But um, then he's got more of these foam blocks and these plastic blocks for learning counting and times tables. And then um, he's got these uh, wooden shapes so you can learn all of his shapes. And I don't know if these are used for crafts or whatever. You could probably paint these, but I think they're used for math because they came in the math section. And then he's got two um, rulers and a um, measuring tape. And that's the math box. I think I covered everything in there. Um, oh, no, he's also got count by tens because this is a 10 by 10 um, uh magnet so he can also use that on the refrigerator or on that magnet board that's down here um, which I like that he can hold it so he can show it to the camera for the video chats um, and then my favorite box which I am overwhelmed by is the arts and crafts box so he got all for free thanks to Commonwealth Charter Academy and however they pay for this government or donation um, he has uh, eight of the eight ounce tempera paints. He got some Sharpie markers. Um, this is watercolors, and I'm sure there's a um, paintbrush in here. He got more paintbrushes. Not one, but two model magics. These are air dry, I believe. And then he's also got this model magic modeling clay or whatever this sergeant art is that doesn't dry. And then. Um, He's got paintbrushes and this really amazing quality um, art paper, paint, uh, painting, coloring, uh, drawing paper, which is also for um, paint. And then under here, he's got 96 sheets of construction paper, but not just 96 sheets of construction paper. He's got 40 sheets of cardstock, not just 40 sheets of cardstock. He's got this, which I put upside down, which is more art paper. And then he's got this, which is like 240 sheets of construction paper. And then that's not all folks. He's got one of our favorite craft supplies, which is pipe cleaners. And we've got these fake feathers. 
Now, we got markers. We don't just got 10 markers. We've got two boxes of 10 markers and we've got colored pencils. Not only do we got this box of 36 colored pencils, we've got this box of 12 colored pencils. Not only do we have that, we have three rolls of tape, a roll of twine, which I'm not sure if that's being used for science or crafts, but I guess it could be used for both. We have a like 30 or more uh, bendable plastic straws. Excuse me, there was a fly. We have some jumbo um, paper clips. We have uh, crayons, but not just one box of 24 crayons. We've got another box of 12 crayons. Not only do we have that, but we also have this um, Colors of the World, which I've never seen a crayon box like this that showcases the different skin tones. So that's actually very nice and interesting. Um, and then we also have all of these glue sticks. There's five glue sticks down there. And then we also have this big Elmer's Extra Strong Formula glue. And then that's not all. Get out of here, feathers. We have one of my super favorite things, oil pastels, 12 oil pastels. These are the crayons. And not only do we have those oil pastel crayons, we have these oil pastel um, chalks in 12 blick square sticks like this. Now, that's not all folks. There is scissors down here which I think I'm not gonna use these. I'll give these to my other kid because uh, we like to use the left-handed scissors, um, but my other kid is left-handed, so I don't know. But then we also have googly eyes and Sharpie markers. Have I said that yet? Did I cover everything in that this box? Three rolls of tape? I guess so. Now, that's not all the craft supplies. I ran out of room in the craft supply section. I feel like I need just a bin for crafts with all this stuff. But we also got a pack of paper plates and these big, huge bag of foam. I guess this could be craft supply, but it's, they're, they're, they're foam shapes. Now, that's everything from here. And you think that's everything? Oh, no, 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 no. There's still more crafts. We got... Ditalini pasta, which I'm assuming they're going to use the string and the pasta and the paint to make jewelry or Christmas ornaments or whatever. Now, you think that's all? No, 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 no. That's not even everything. They went above and beyond and there's more stuff here. Another craft thing, which is sidewalk chop. Now, um, that's another craft thing, I would assume. I just didn't know what category to put it in, and I ran out of room. But there's still more. We've got in this box a inflating pump for a ball, which means they had to have sent us a ball. Yes, they did. And I've already blown it up in preparation for tomorrow for school PE. It is a really nice quality uh, dodgeball. Makes a nice um, nostalgic sound. Um, and then we also got a jump rope. He doesn't know how to jump rope. Neither of my kids do. So I guess they're going to learn this year. Um, and then um, we got this giant, what they call a puff ball, which is like a giant craft cotton ball. Huge. And then we got what they are calling a bean bag. I'm not sure if this is for bean bag toss or cornhole or what, but I guess we'll find out. So, um, yeah. Now, finally, that's everything they sent complimentary to all students and parents. We also have an online portal and video chats. Um, so, if you have any other ideas on how I can store the craft items, that would be awesome because, as you can see, there's so much stuff. Um, but anyways, this is how we are doing it for school. And then we've got iPads. Um, and the school would also send you a uh, school computer if you needed it. But we didn't. So anyways, that's everything they send you for second grade Commonwealth Charter Academy CCA. Anyways, 
Um, we are looking forward to a really great 2023-2024 school year. Um, this is our first time doing a Charter Academy. And um, Ed is four years old and he's super excited about all these supplies and asked if Elliot were, would share. So hopefully during school, there's not too many arguments about who gets to use what and when. But I'll keep you guys updated. And that is Commonwealth Charter Academy and the second grade box that they send you before school. Everything you need for the school year.